Hi, in this lesson, we're going to learn how to highlight an area of an image so that it stands out from the rest of the image. This is useful to highlight areas on a map so that people know a particular area or to highlight areas on an image to bring it to a user's attention. Now make sure you're in Photoshop and open up the image you want to hi highlight the areas on. So I've downloaded some images. I'll open it up. Now this is the image I want to highlight maybe Nigeria and Sudan. So first thing you do, you notice the original image is here and it has a label called background. First thing you do is duplicate that layer. Right click and duplicate the layer. Give the new layer a name. I call this map 2 and click OK. That basically creates an exact copy of that layer um, above. It basically creates another a copy of that layer above. So the next thing you need to do is to change the image to black and white. And you do that by going to image, go down to adjustments, and go down to black and white. Go across and go down to black and white. Immediately you see the black and white box appears and the image below becomes black and white. I have no need to change any of these settings and I simply click OK. That's it. After you have the black and white, made the duplicate layer black and white, you go across and the next thing you need to do is select the selections tool. So not the cropping tool, but the selections tool is this one. This is the selection tool. Now once you've got the selection tool, it might also be advisable to zoom out a bit. So command plus plus so you can see the image a bit more clearly, so you can get the areas you need. So if we start with the plus plus, you can, you can either make the brush head bigger, see, it's now that size, or you can make it smaller, it's that size. So this image needs a little bit of a small brush head, so I'm going to take it down to about six. Um, once you've done that, put that back up, and I'm going to go around the edges. So I might need to zoom out a bit more. Depends on how good you are. So you start going around the edges. Now with the plus one, it's the outer edge of that circle that will help you define the edges you are looking to set. I know I've made a mistake there, but I'll come back to that. Just keep going as best you can. The boundaries on this are a bit hard to see. I can come back and correct those later. Um, it's not very good at the moment, but I will correct those later. Uh -huh. Right, so that's a rough idea. Uh, some of those are a bit out, so you go back and take the negative. Now, it is the inner edge here that works. So if you're going to bring it back in, you've got to use the inner edge of the circle. So where the circle comes um, is, is the lower end of the circle is the one that will bring it in. So you need to touch the lower edge to where you actually want the boundary to be to bring it back in. See? So I'm actually getting it back in there. Um, this one's definitely off, so it just needs to come back down here. Yeah, and so this one definitely needs to come down here. And right, again, it is the plus side. With the plus one, it is the outer area that's probably outer edge that works. So it's strange, but the, that's a rough highlight of that area. Now I'm going to move across to the Sudan, and I'm going to start outlining that too, because I want two areas. And you can do that. Whilst you still have it selected, simply select the areas that you want to select. Now that's not right, so I'm going to have to change that in a minute, but keep going as best you can until you get to where you're going. You can come back and correct. Oh, that's not. If you have something like that, edit, undo. Right. You're going to have to keep going. Edit, undo. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take a negative to bring some of these back in. That might help me if I bring them back in. And join them up. Yeah, that's better. See how it's coming in? That helps, and it helps you correct things out. So it is the inner edge. Then there's obviously something there. So I go back to the plus, and you keep going until you've done it. 
I'm just going to right this area is giving me a little bit of problem so I'm going to have to do a minus here because I want it back here okay separating up this one should actually come back to here uh -huh. right they've separated now it's quite tricky at times trying to get this right because of the way it depends on the kind of image you chose this is a bit of a fuzz, a difficult image because it's got lots of in between things going on there. So you can you have to keep at it till you get it right. Right. So I've got rough area there. Um, I need to get this selection just a bit right. Uh, so it's, you'll always be alternating between the plus and the minus. So that one is okay. This area now needs to be fixed up. Uh, let's start here. Yeah, that's better. That is so much better. Yep, let me just come down a bit. Right, now the negative. Now, obviously you're as ac you, you can be as accurate as you like, um, and you can take your time to do it properly, obviously. Because um, I'm in a hurry, not in a hurry, but um, this is a demo rather than anything serious, more serious. This I will, mine is a little bit untidy. Okay, so I've got two areas selected and I've got a bit of an unwanted area there. So I think what I'll do there is minus this one. I don't want any of these. So just use the minus to take them away. That now tidies up all these areas. So the minus will just quickly take those away. So now I'm ready. So I've selected my two areas bit difficult and you would tidy up your edges with your plus and minus till you're happy and satisfied and the next thing you do is this area here you add an input mask now what you should notice is when you add the input mask your areas that you selected are now showing black as black and white and the rest of the area is bright color we're almost done so the next thing you need to do is to go back to the image and the adjustments and all you simply need to do so that the others stand out vividly from the rest is to invert the image. And hey presto, you've got your two areas highlighted in color and the rest is all faded in black and white. And that is how you highlight any area of an image. Now, of course, the more detailed you want it, the better. You can refine your edges so that they're smoother, so that they stand out in a soft way. But this is the basic way of how you can highlight an image. Try it out and get back to me. Thank you.